the 100 most commonly used words and phrases in English. Do you know them? Well, in this series, that's what we're going to practice. We're going to learn the 100 most commonly used words and phrases in English to help your English speaking. All right, let's go. If this is your first time joining us today, in this series, we are learning the 100 most commonly used words and phrases in English. If you have already joined us before, then you already know that we've done one through 30. So in today's lesson, we will be doing the most commonly used phrases in English from 31 to 40. For those who have just joined us, make sure you watch the other three videos. I'm doing these words in sets of tens. So today we'll learn 10 from 31 to 40. In the next video, I'll do from 41 to 50. So make sure you check all these out. These phrases are very useful. You know, they are the most commonly phrase, commonly used phrases that we use in English. So if you remember these, if you know how to use them, your English will become much more fluent and smooth. After we learn all of these phrases, don't worry, I will give you some real daily conversations to help you so you can see how we use them in English. During that time, it's a great chance for you to practice your speaking. All right, let's get started. All right, number 31, the 31st most commonly used phrase in English is, what's new? All right, what's new? This question means, I want to know if there's any new or interesting news happening in your life. It's very common to ask this question if you haven't seen a friend or a person in some time. So maybe I haven't seen my friend in about a week or two weeks. The next time I meet him or her, I will say, hey, what's new? Number 32. This question is, excuse me, do you have the time? Okay, so one more time, excuse me, do you have the time? This question is asking someone, what time is it? What time is it? So excuse me, do you have the time? This means, what time is it? Now this is a really, really useful question. And it's one that I want you to make sure you ask correctly. Because if you make one mistake in this sentence, in this question, the meaning changes. So my question is, excuse me, do you have the time? Do you have the time? The word here, the, is very important. This question is asking, what time is it? Now, if I changed the question, if I said, excuse me, do you have time? Do you have time? This question means, are you free? Are you free? I'd like to do something with you. So are you free? Are you available? So putting the word the in it means what time is it? If you don't put the word the into the sentence, into the question, it means are you free? Are you available? So please be careful with that. Make sure you put the word the if you're asking about the time. Number 33. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. This means I will return soon. I will return soon. Now, this is also a very interesting one because as all of you know, we are always using our smartphones. We're using our iPhones or whatever phone you have and we're text messaging each other. We're using different social media apps. Now, when you're texting someone, a lot of people now, I'll be right back. We make it shorter and we just put the letters BRB, right? BRB equals be right back. Number 34, take care, take care. We usually use this sentence when we're saying goodbye and we use it if we're worried about the other person. Maybe they're not feeling well. Maybe they're having some problems. So we like to say, take care. That means, you know, take care of yourself. Be careful. Number 35, the 35th most commonly used phrase in English is, 
Can I help you with anything? This question is often used if you want to assist someone. If you go shopping, if you're shopping for clothes, you know, the sales clerk might ask you, can I help you with anything? She's or he is trying to help you. They're trying to assist you. Okay, so if you've liked the phrases we've learned so far, if you think these phrases will be helpful for you, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. It's completely free, so hit the subscribe button right now. Number 36, you're so welcome. This means you are very welcome. So, so plus an adjective is equal to very plus an adjective. So, you are so welcome equals you're very welcome. Now, I have a video where I explain how we use so and very and such. So, if you're interested in that type of lesson, how we use so, make sure you check that video out as well. Number 37, how is your day? This is a question we ask someone at the end of the day. So maybe in the morning you go to work or you go to school and then when that person returns, maybe at 5 p.m., 6 p.m., they've come home. A very common question is, how was your day? So we want to know if your day was good or bad or busy or exciting. So we ask, how was your day? Number 38, pardon me. Pardon me is commonly used in two different ways in English. The first way we use it is as a question. So if we use it as a question, it means, excuse me, sorry, what? You know, please repeat yourself. Now, if I use it as a question, it's very important that I raise the intonation of that pronunciation. So it sounds like this, pardon me. Okay, you try it at home as well. Pardon me? So this is a question. It means, excuse me, what? Could you repeat yourself? The second way we use pardon me is if I do something and I want to say, excuse me, maybe I burp, so I make a noise, maybe I drink some soda and I involuntarily burp. It's like, oh, excuse me. Right? It's, same, it's kind of saying, I'm sorry, excuse me. So, oh, oh, pardon me. Number 39, no problem. I use this phrase a lot. And when I use it, it means you're welcome. So if somebody wants to say thank you, you know, I will say, oh, no problem. It's a very casual way to say you're welcome. And number 40, nice meeting you. All right, we use this phrase usually at the end of a conversation when we are saying goodbye. So I've met someone, it was the first time to meet them, maybe we talked a little bit, and then at the end of that conversation, I would say, oh, it was nice meeting you. Okay, so that was 31 to 40. Those were the 31st to 40th most commonly used English phrases. Did you understand all of those? If you have any questions, or if you're not sure about any of them, please re-watch the video, or even better, just ask me any question down below. I'll answer all of your questions if you're unsure about anything. So to better understand all of these phrases, the next thing we'll do is we will practice some daily conversations, some real conversations. This is your speaking practice. There's two ways you can practice your speaking here. One is you can practice some shadowing. So as I'm speaking, I want you to speak at the same time and same speed. That way your fluency and your speed are improving. The second way you can practice this is I'll read the black part or I'll read one side and you read the other side. That way we're having a conversation through YouTube. Okay, dialogue number one. In this dialogue, I will use what's new. 
Hey, long time no see. What's new? I'm nothing much. I've been pretty busy at work. You? Same. I really need a vacation. Dialogue number two. In this dialogue, I will use, excuse me, do you have the time? And no problem. Excuse me, do you have the time? Yeah, it's 2.35. Thank you. No problem. Dialogue number three. In this dialogue, I will use, can I help you with anything? Pardon me, and I'll be right back. In this conversation, we are shopping. Hello, can I help you with anything? Yeah, I'm looking for a size 10 in these shoes. Pardon me, what size? 10. Let me check in the back. I'll be right back. Dialogue number four. In this dialogue, we will use take care and nice meeting you. Well, it's getting late. I should be heading home soon. Sure thing. Take care and have a safe trip back home. Thanks. It was really nice meeting you. Let's catch up soon. Dialogue number five. Here we will use, how was your day? And you're so welcome. Hi, Shelly, how was your day? It was busy as usual. How about you? I was good, thanks for asking. I appreciate your help earlier. You're a lifesaver. You're so welcome, glad I could help. Okay, so how were those conversations? Did you get a better idea of how we use these phrases? If you have any questions, make sure you rewatch the video and ask me anything down below. You know, in today's lesson, we learn the 31st to 40th most commonly used phrases in English. This is part of the 100 most commonly used English words and phrases series. Now, if you haven't watched the other videos I've made, from 1 to 30, make sure you watch those as well. And make sure you're, you know, you have an eye out for the upcoming videos as well. After this, we will be doing from 41 to 50 and so on, all the way up to 100. You know, if you can use these 100 most commonly used English phrases, you will be speaking like a native speaker in no time. Now, if you like this video, if you think these phrases will help your English speaking, please subscribe to this channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video in this series is coming out. So, until that time, see ya. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson. Today we studied the 31st to 40th most commonly used English phrases. This is part of the 100 most commonly used words and phrases series. Make sure you check out all the videos in this series as it will help your English. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. Until the next video, see ya.